Hi, sweet friends. I hope that you have had just a great day so far. Um, I am super excited because tonight is the Georgia-Alabama game. We are huge football fans around here. And I thought that I would just put very quickly in the crock pot just a yummy, let me think what it's called. It's called a, let's see. A, this is a crock pot hot Mexican bean dip. And so I think it's gonna be so good. I think you guys are gonna love it and it's so easy to put together. So let me just tell you what you're gonna put in. All right, so first we're gonna put in some black beans and I've already drained them and I'm gonna put them in my crock pot. Then you need a can of kidney beans and these are also drained. You're going to need, um, I'm gonna put in some Rotel, a can of Rotel. I know um, sometimes you guys don't really know like what Rotel is, but it's just diced tomatoes and then green chilies. So if you don't have Rotel, um, that's what you can buy. And you don't drain that, okay? And then you're going to put in a can of whole kernel corn. And I'm gonna just stir this up for just a second. Okay. Then you're going to need, I've got eight ounces of cream cheese and I've already diced them up and I'm gonna put this in. And then I have one cup of shredded Mexican cheese blend, and I'm gonna put that in. We need two tablespoons of sour cream. I'm just gonna eye this. So we have one, two. Okay. And then one package of taco seasoning mix. And this is just the mild, but of course you can put in, if you like it a little bit more flavorful, put whatever kind of taco seasoning you want to. All right, so then you just add this. And I'm gonna just, there's not really much stirring that you can do because of course the cream cheese needs to just melt and become all soft in there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on my crock pot and I'm gonna have it on high, I think, right? Is it on high? Yes, it's on high. And just for about an hour. And so then I'm gonna come back and we will see what it looks like. What I love about this is that it doesn't take very long, right? So you just add this and then it's ready in an hour. You don't have to wait four to six hours or whatever. So I'll be back when it when an hour is up. Okay, see you soon. Welcome back. This bean dip smells so delicious. I think you guys are just gonna love it, love it, love it. Um, I wish you could kind of see in the inside but it filled it up about halfway. So if you wanted to make this for a big crowd, a bigger crowd, you could just double the recipe and it would make, it would fill up a regular size crock pot. I hope you've noticed these little liners too. They are so awesome. I actually learned this little trick from Mama Sue. These liners, um, this is what they are and it makes cleanup so much easier, of course. All right, so what I ended up doing was, I know originally I put this on high and I went back and I looked at the directions and I thought, gosh, high is kind of a long time for what we were making for an hour. And so I turned it down to low. So really you need to start out at low and you're just gonna keep it in there for one hour, okay? All right, so I'm gonna spoon out, well, I'm gonna scoop out some and put it in my bowl. And then I'll show you what it looks like up close. 
This is gonna be perfect for the game tonight. Okay, so let me let you look, what it, look at it. Can you see? It's really, really yummy. And I know so many of you have been letting me know how cold it is where you guys live. And so this, of course, would be so great. And who doesn't love a nice, warm dip? All right, so I'm gonna try this. Mm. Y'all, that is good. Make that and let me know what you think. That is so delicious. Okay. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Um, also, of course, if you if you make it, send us any pictures. And again, thank you so much for just being here and following me. I appreciate just all of your love and support. Remember that you can do hard things. And you guys, enjoy the game tonight if you are football fans between Alabama and Georgia. Take care. See you next time.